And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a protector. So God made a service member. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, hump pack, work all day performing duties, hump pack again, eat chow, then go to foreign lands and stay through countless holidays, birthdays, weddings, graduations, and funerals. So God made a service member. God said, I need somebody willing to sit up all night with a wounded brother or sister and watch them die. Then dry their eyes and say, I need to stay focused. I need somebody who can put aside their own needs, give the ultimate sacrifice when duty calls, who can go a solid week without sleep and eat only once a day. Who during wartime and heated battle will selfishly fight countless hours for their country's freedom and then, painting from battle fatigue, do it all over again. So God made a service member. God said, I need somebody strong enough to watch their fellow service member fall, but yet gentle enough to share what little rations they have with victims of war, who will put aside their own safety for however long it takes to get civilians out of harm's way. So God made a service member. It had to be somebody strong, stable, and fierce, and when it came to their duty, would not sway. Somebody to sweat, hunger, not sleep, ignore pain, and fight and pay, and hold emotions and stand proud and take a bullet for their country. Somebody who could bond a family together with the soft, strong bonds of sharing, who would laugh and then sigh and then reply with smiling eyes when their son or daughter says that he or she wants to serve their country just like mom or dad did. So God made a service member.